Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here, and uh, I just finished wiring up my pedal board for this year. And uh, as they say, new year, new gear. Hmm? Um, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, shoot this video and show you guys what I got. So let's see, where to start? Well, let's start with the dirt section. I'm a firm believer that you can never have too many dirt pedals. Um, we'll start with my old number one. This is a Boss Dual Overdrive SD2. I've had this pedal for years and uh, I've started using it back in the early 90s, uh, Rumaya days. And I've actually, this is my second, no, third pedal, third uh, Dual Overdrive. So the first one uh, in a fit of, I guess, uh, temporary mental illness, I sold my first one thinking that I could get something better. Turned out uh, I couldn't, so I bought another one. And then the second pedal got stolen, and so I bought this third one. And it's been with me ever since. Okay, the next up is this guy right here, heavy metal. So for if I want a really heavy tone, I go to this pedal. This is actually a, a clone of the, the Boss MT2, the Metal Zone, so it's got See, zoom in on the controls. You got the same controls. And I guess in the Philippines, they started um, modding this pedal. Um, but my version, this one, is stock, unmodded. Let's see what else. Oh, this is a new one. I just got this one. This is an MXR, a classic 108 fuzz. It's got the buffer in it, so I can use the wah with it. Nice sounding pedal. Really thick fuzz. Um, I've only started using fuzz recently, um, and I'm, I'm having a blast. Let's see what else we got. Oh, okay, here. This is the RC Booster by Exotic Effects. I like it. Um, right now, I have my dirt pedals. You can see the gain knobs. They're not too high up, you know, maybe 12 o'clock. Oh, where's that? Okay, there's the, the fuzz. See that? And I use the uh, I use the RC booster to kick the gain up if I need it for solos and stuff. Okay. And this is my three button foot switch for my amp, uh, which I will show you in a little bit. So it's got the channel, oops, channel select. I have a boost, and I have another boost. So between the pedals and the amp foot switch I've got possibly every every combination of overdrive I can possibly want <laughs> which is cool okay over to the modulation section I have well let's start with this guy this is an out of uh, I guess they don't make this anymore this is a Dunlop crybaby 95Q uh, let me zoom in. Oh, you can't see it. Anyway, so on the side there, you can adjust the Q of the wah, and then you can adjust the the sweep of the wah as well. And then on this side of the pedal, I have a switch. Oh, actually, that's a volume. The second potentiometer is a volume uh, volume boost. And this red switch right here uh, switches the boost on and off. So that solves the uh, the volume drop that most wahs have. Um, so it's nice, uh, nice feature to have. Also, if I shoot it from the side, you'll see that the pedal is the default position of the pedal is heel down. It's got a spring-loaded mechanism so that when I step on it, activates the wah, and take my foot off, uh, heel down automatically turns the wah off. So I like that feature. That way, uh, I step on it, the wall comes on, and I don't have to deal with the toe switch and all that. And then I have a Guillotone wall rocker um, envelope filter. Really neat little effect. Okay. Then from there, it goes into the Hendrix Univibe pedal, the uh, Hendrix Tribute Series by Dunlop. This is the Univibe. And it goes into a Dan Electro Milkshake Chorus. Um, I like my modulation effects in front of the dirt pedals. 
and in front of the uh, of the amp uh, before the preamp section. Uh, I just find them more smoother that way. Um, I've tried it in the effects loop and uh, post distortion pedals, and I, I didn't really like um, the way it sounded. So I like it this way. Now this whole pedal board is wired via the four cable method, meaning uh, all the dirt and modulation is pre preamp before the preamp. And I have my wet effects, my time based effects, uh, plugged into the effects loop. So you can see. So last in the dirt chain is the heavy metal pedal, and that cable goes into the amp input. And then the uh, for the time based effects, I have two more cables coming out, and one is from the uh, effects amp effects loop send, and then the other one goes into the return. So from the send, the signal goes into this tiny little thing right here. This is a um, this is mine uh, mini buffer. My amp has a serial loop, and it needs to be uh, the signal needs to be buffered a little bit before it hits these pedals. It just makes it sound better. And this tiny little guy does the job really, really well. Okay, it's got a cool blue LED light too. Then from here, oops, saw part of my finger there goes into a TC electronic flashback delay which I have set to the lo-fi setting and that is the way I set the knobs nice clean sounding well lo-fi it's a dirty sounding delay um, I just like it because it doesn't um, interfere with the lead lines even though I have set it to a uh, bunch of feedback and uh, the delay that tails off perfectly uh, when I stop playing. Then from there it goes into a TC Electronic Hall of Fame. I have it on the tone print setting. I'm not really sure what the tone print is. It's the one that comes stock with it. I just like the way it sounds, so whatever. And those are my settings. Okay, so I'm going to play a little bit through this rig. I will use my Gibson Explorer tremolo version. It's got the Floyd Rose on it. And there you go. There's the money shot of the headstock. Oh, uh, before I forget, let me show you my amp. Turn right here. This is a custom-made amp built for me by my friend, Bobby Starr of uh, New Jersey. This is basically a Dumble clone. So that's his logo right there. Star Amps, ODS, HRM. And those are my amp settings. It's running into a Mesa 4x12 stiletto cab. Which I like, I like very, very much. Okay, back to the pedals. Oh, and uh, so I won't over, overload the camera. I will be recording using the Zoom H2. Set a couple of feet back. Okay, and I will be combining the audio in post-production. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, I will just play through each pedals and I'll take you through the rig with, with as much commentary as I can. Um, I'll try to play something musical as well. So, uh, let's see, where to start? Okay, so everything's off. Okay, this is my clean sound, uh, bridge pickup. Oh, I should add that my Explorer has a DiMarjo deactivator pickups. So, front and back pickup. Or neck and bridge, if you want to uh, think of it that way. Okay, um, so 
that's the amp clean sound. So from that, I can switch on the mid boost. Bumps up the low end a little bit, nice for solo. Makes it a little thicker. And then the boost function is actually a, a tone stack bypass. So from here, this is the tone stack engage. With the knobs set to whatever I set them on, I think everything's at 12 o'clock. So with the boost, it bypasses it and gives you pure signal from the first preamp tube up all the way to the power amp section. So. Tone stack. Uh, tone stack bypass. Then, uh, let's see. Oh. Let's check out the drive channel. So there's an overdrive channel. Nice little uh, snarly tone there. Little pun. Pretty responsive to volume knob too. options even when I'm using all the pedals uh, all the dirt pedals well not all the dirt pedals but uh, one dirt pedal at a time anyway uh, let's see sweeten the sound a little bit turn on the reverb I like my reverb to just color the sound a little bit and, and not be over too overpowering and it depends on the room that I'm playing in. If it's a dead room, I turn the reverb up a little bit. If, uh, if it's a live room, I turn it down a little bit. In my garage, it's a little live. But anyway. I like it. filtering out. It never overpowers the, uh, the whatever lines I'm playing. It gives a nice space around the notes I'm playing. So if I do the overdrive.
That's the delay. See, so yeah, I'll just leave the reverb on for the next part. Um, okay, so let's start with the uh, with Unibuy. <laughs> It's a little darker than the other uni vibes I've used in the past, but you know, it sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see, chorus. Yeah, I like setting my chorus to a subtle effect, just a shimmer. Um, one thing I did uh, discover is if I have the Univibe on, just a little dark, and then I turn the chorus on, it actually uh, evens out the tone a little bit. That's a little psychedelic. Nice little swirly sound there. And if I add the delay, I'll have. I like the way it sounds uh, clean and distorted. Okay, uh, let's go to the dirt section. Oh, uh, with the three boosts, I can even throw in the. Let's start with the RC booster. I can boost everything. Boost the crap out of everything. Just punches the amp and go. I like um, how it doesn't color the sound, but it just gives you more of the signal. Uh, and it's, it's, it's great. Okay, let's do this bad boy right here. So the uh, MXR fuzz, um, I've recently found out that fuzz and wad don't necessarily mix. And uh, these guys came up, well, figured out that they, you need a buffer so that you can get the, uh, the wah sweep, uh, the wah to work nicely with the fuzz. So here it is uh, on its own. Rough comparison if I 
turn the buffer off. buffer on all the time and uh, it's cool too because it got, it's got two lights. You want to send it over the top, kick in the RC booster. Uh, the fuzz set low enough so I can use it with my overdrive channel. Sounds great. And I can boost the crap out of that too. Let's do the dual overdrive. So this is a like a, a mid-range type distortion. channel too. Uh, one thing I did find, uh, find out as well is if you set your amp's uh, overdrive channel to a low gain and then you kick in a dirt pedal, it takes on the character of the dirt pedal. So that's the amp overdrive. I kick in the to the heavy metal pedal. Heavy metal! Sometimes what I do is, uh, if I'm on a clean channel, say I have... For the solo, instead of kicking on the booster, I'm going to switch uh, amp channels so that I get, I get more gain that way. Oh. 
and so on. All good fun. Um, let's see, let me play something. Just clicking whatever. Oh. This is the reason why I have the modulation before the desserts. Um, so I can play the bass. I have the effect on, but it's not muddy, it's not overpowering whatever notes I'm playing. enjoy this video I had fun showing you my stuff playing through the rig and you know just making a lot of noise um, like my Facebook subscribe to my channel check out my website follow me on Twitter do all that good stuff and I'll see you uh, next time okay peace have fun and happy new year